So just um, a development on the BCM replacer idea, which uh, I've just been discussing on the forum. A couple of people now are interested in um, lithium BCM replacements. So uh, I've been looking at this and just to run you through what I've been doing at the moment. Now, I know another member has got an Orion 2 BMS. This is my Orion 2 BMS. Uh, you've seen from the thread on that, I've got that working and it's um, just squirting out data to my Wi-Fi. And you can actually view that online from that previous thread. I've also now set it up to send out CAN data, just a one packet at the moment of eight bytes of data, voltage, state of charge and stuff like that. So it's sending that out on the CAN bus. And then here we have uh, my faithful um, car, basically. This is uh, my box for testing cars out of the car, if you like. So it's an MCM, an ECM, and a BCM, and a, and a display, and a power supply all on the board, all connected up together. But in this particular instance, I've just got the MCM working. And here I've got two um, the two buses, the MET SCI bus, which powers the gauge and also sends data to the BCM. And this other one is the BAT SCI bus, which receives uh, battery data from the BCM. And obviously we want to try and do away with the BCM. So then what we've got over here, we've got the CAN bus and the two um, uh, RS45 buses from the MCM coming to here. And here we have yet another hacked OBD2 CNC displaying some data. And what you can see on the data screen at the moment is uh, the top two lines are uh, CAN bus data from the Orion 2 BMS. It's just uh, telling me some uh, information there. Uh, and we're not bothered about what it is. We just uh, want to get it into the device. And the third line down, that's the uh, <coughs> B3 and B4 data from the MET SCI line, which we need because we need to pass that on to the uh, MCM uh, so it can tell or thinks that the BCM is still there and is passing through data. Um, I haven't got it outputting the BAT SCI stream at the moment for the MCM, but you know it's just uh, this is just very early days developing of the prototype. So just a quick look in the back of here, you'll see. Uh, well, you've already seen the um, the CAN bus daughter board, which is here, and now we have uh, the um, BAT SCI and the MET SCI RS four eight five bus daughter board for the um, OBD2 CNC. The reason I'm using the OBD2 CNC is basically because it's convenient. I know how the code works. Uh, it's got a convenient display. It's a convenient control button. So this hacked, hacked particular model has done a lot of development work. So this has got CAN bus on it as well. And it's got the RS485, um, the MET SCI and the BAT SCI um, inputs and outputs. So this, basically, this device here is going to be our BCM. Um, certainly in the case of the Orion bus, uh, the Orion uh, BMS equipped um, cars, what it'll do is it'll receive data on the CAN bus from the Orion BMS and it will pass that data and it will then insert that into the data stream which this will output continuously to the MCM on the BAT SCI line. All the time it's doing that, it'll be receiving data from the MCM on the MET SCI line, and it'll be looking at that and passing those bytes through as required so that the MCM doesn't detect any faults. And then knowing how the data stream works and is constructed that goes out on the BAT SCI line, we can then introduce uh, control uh, mechanisms as the BCM interceptor currently does. So we can disable assist or disable regen, depending on the information that we're getting over the CAN bus from the Orion 2 BMS. So this is sort of a development working on here. So um, I mean, I'm going to try and work on the code uh, for this over the next two or three days. But that's where we are at the minute. And as you can see, it's just um, accepting the CAN bus data and simultaneously it's accepting the um, BAT, um, sorry, the MET SCI data from the MCM. Now we just have to get it all sequenced, get it all timed correctly, and uh, sending out um, the 11, 12 byte packets for the um, BAT SCI to the MCM. And uh, hopefully then we should have a working BCM replacer. Once we have this working with the CAN bus information coming in, then it would be a fairly straightforward matter once we have the structure, once we understand the structure, uh, to, um, gosh, they're quite warm, uh, to uh, it'll be fairly straightforward to then uh, add on um, devices which we need to measure current and voltage so we can actually use this device without an Orion 2 type BMS. So that's where we are at the minute.